everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Storytime in Seacliff. Well, Oberon and I have a, a, a very, very lovely story to tell today. My clue, and I, remember I, I warned you that it's about a mouse. Not if you give a mouse a cookie, no, but a mouse. And the mouse's name is Frederick. Let's find out about Frederick. All along the meadow, where the cows were grazing and the horses were running, there was an old stone wall. And in that wall, not far from the barn, a chatty family of field mice had their home. But the farmers had moved away and the barn was abandoned and the field was empty. And since winter was not far off, the little mice began to collect corn and nuts and wheat and straw. They worked day and night, all of them, all except Frederick. Frederick, why don't you work, they asked. I do work, said Frederick. I gather the sun rays for the cold, dark winter days. <clears throat> and when they saw Frederick sitting there, staring at the meadow, now, Frederick, come on. No, I gather colors, answered Frederick. When the winter is gray, we're going to need color. And once Frederick seemed half asleep. Uh, are you dreaming, Frederick? One of them asked. But Frederick said, oh no, I'm gathering, I'm gathering words. For the winter days are going to be long and many, and we're going to run out of things to say. Well, the winter days did come, and when the first snow fell, the five little field mice took to their hideout in the stones by the wall. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, there was lots to eat, and the mice told stories of, oh, of foolish foxes and, and silly cats, and they were a happy family. But little by little, they had nibbled up most of the nuts and the berries. The straw was gone and the corn, uh, the corn was only a memory. It was cold in the wall and no one felt like chatting. Then they remembered what Frederick had said about sun rays and colors and words. What about your supplies, Frederick? They asked. Close your eyes, said Frederick, and he climbed up on a big stone. Now, I send you rays of the sun. Do you feel their golden glow? And as Frederick spoke of the sun, the four little mice began to feel warmer. Was it Frederick's voice? Was it magic? And how about the colors, Frederick, they asked anxiously. Close your eyes again, Frederick said. And when he told them of the blue periwinkles, the red poppies, the green leaves, the yellow wheat, they saw the colors as clearly as if they had been painted in their minds. And the words, Frederick. <clears throat> Frederick cleared his throat and he waited a moment. And then, as if from a stage, he said, who scatters snowflakes? Who melts the snow? Who spoils the weather? Who makes it nice? Who grows the four-leaf clover in June? Who dims the daylight? Who lights the moon? Four little field mice who live in the sky. Four little field mice like you and I. One is the spring mouse who turns on the showers. Then comes the summer who paints in the flowers. The fall mouse is next with walnuts and wheat. And winter is last with little cold feet. Aren't we lucky the seasons are four? Think of a year with one less or one more. When Frederick finished, they all applauded. But Frederick, they said, you are a poet. Frederick blushed, he took a bow and said shyly, I know it. 
Lovely story, wasn't that lovely? Well, now it's birthday cake time. Let me look. Yesterday, our cake was largely chocolate, but let me read the boats that I've received, and I received some early this morning. These are our vanilla boats. Joseph, Molly, Alice, and Emily all voted for vanilla. Get ready for your chocolate count, my friends. Henry and Bevy, chocolate. Nicholas, chocolate. Ben, B, chocolate. A huge chocolate block came in early, as I said this morning. Graham, Audrey, and Lila, all chocolate. So let me count it up, right? One, two, three, four. Four vanilla. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chocolate. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Wow. It should only be, I don't know. Let's see. It's not really. It's a chocolate cake. Definitely chocolate. And we do have our four vanillas, though. So don't worry, you vanilla fans. They're chocolate. There are slices for you. Well, we also have a birthday. We actually, well, today is Gabriel's birthday. Gabriel is a very, very dear friend uh, of mine. And uh, he used to come to Story Hour when he was very, very little. Now he's in college. And today we're going to sing happy birthday to Gabriel. Olive's birthday was last week. She was three years old. And um, um, I, just, I just found her uh, birthday message. So we're going to sing to Olive too. All right. Let's sing. Okay, guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gabriel. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olive. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everybody who has a birthday out there. So let me reach over, my dear friends, and see what our clue is going to be. Oh, whoa. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. Wow. What do you think that is? And more importantly, what will the story be? Okay, friends, I'm going to put them aside. You think about that one. And, okay, Albright, I think that's it for today. Thank you again, Cameraman Dan. And, um... Remember, remember, I love you all very much. Mm -hmm.